just when we think that um, things can't get harder, they do, and they have. And as we have continued to make our way through a pandemic, we are all also now grieving um, such deep sorrow across our country. We are watching cities erupt in protests and seeing police brutality like we have never known. I know I've watched the news and seen riots in Paris or other cities and I thought, well, that hasn't happened here in a long time. And yet it's happening. And we even saw our own president. We saw how peaceful people were tear gassed so that he could walk across the street to a church and hold the Bible upside down. If you haven't seen the video by James Corden, who invites his father on uh, to talk about how to hold a Bible, it's a great video. And it's a wonderful social commentary. And his father was a Bible salesman. So he brings him on and he shows many different ways to hold and carry a Bible. But then, and, but then he ends by reading of Psalm 37 which he says is his favorite psalm. And so I wanted to see how it's written in the Common English Bible. And I'm just going to read a few verses from Psalm 37, beginning with the first verse. Don't get upset over evildoers. Don't be jealous of those who do wrong, because they will fade like grass. They will wither like green vegetables. Trust the Lord and do good. Live in the land and farm faithfulness. So the evil will wither like green vegetables. Maybe those ones that uh, you don't like and so you bought them with every intention of eating but they just withered and rotted and you threw them away. But live in the land and farm faithfulness. And so that is what we are called to do to live in this land, wherever you are, whatever your city, and to farm faithfulness. That means we have to, to um, till the ground and get out the rocks. Um, our white privilege and our racism and our discrimination and all the systems that contribute to it, we have to work the ground and we have to prepare the soil and we have to get rid of everything that doesn't belong there. And then plant the seeds and nurture them and water them, the seeds of peace and equality for all God's people, the seeds of compassion and hope, all of those things that God seeks to grow in the land. We are to live in the land and farm faithfulness. And here is a prayer that was written um, by Walter Brueggemann. And I will close with that. But I hope that we will all think about what we can each do, what we can do to farm faithfulness. This is called, with you, it is never more or less. We will be your faithful people, more or less. We will love you with all our hearts, mm, perhaps. We will love our neighbors as ourselves. Maybe. We are grateful that with you, it is never more or less. Perhaps, or maybe. With you, it is never yes and no, but always yes, clear, direct, unambiguous, trustworthy. We thank you for your yes. Come flesh among us. Amen. And so we give thanks for God whose yes was fleshed among us, teaching us how to farm the land with faithfulness. I pray for you in these stressful and anxious times that you will find rest for your soul 
and that you will find the energy you need to do what God is calling you to do. Blessings and peace. Amen.